now. Hello everybody, welcome to another commentating video for Neagle9. Uh, right now he is currently doing his warm-ups for Escalation. He's on his first match still. Um, he already did his warm-ups, the, you know, the, the bot warm-up off-screen. Now he is warming up, he's doing the second part of his warm-up, which is Escalation. He's on the first one, and he is doing quite well, I must say. But unfortunately, he was not at the right range for something like that. Alright, as you see here, he is on the Deagle, or as in Valorant, we call the Sheriff. And he gets an easy, clean kill for Yoru. And let's see if he's able to get this next kill. There's two people there. He's able to clean up one, but unfortunately, he could not kill the jet as he gets taken down by the jet exactly. Alright, now he's on the ghost there. He gets a few hits in and is able to clean up the headshots with the help of his teammate. Let's see if he's able to get another one. And sure enough, he's able to pick up a second kill on the Yoru once again. I'm pretty sure the Yoru is definitely upset. Let's see if he can go and search and hunt for his next victim as he's on the final level along with his team. And the enemy team seems to be on the final level. Let's see how intense this can get, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, everybody's moving and walking fast. Let's see what happens. There's two in the back there. Neagle Nine is able to get one kill, but unfortunately he is taken down by the enemy team since two of them were at, since two of them were focusing him. Who won? Did we win? I think we won. Yeah. And they end up getting the victory. Neagle Nine's team is victorious in that oh. match. Yeah, not much commentary on my part, just like a ooh, ah, it, ah, it. Exciting. Woo. <laughs> More about the actual gameplay itself. The mode is always super chaotic. All right. Well, I didn't do that bad. I think it's it's pretty good. It's, I'd say. But let's do it again. See what happens. Also, I need defeats here so I can get my MMR lower. So I have you know easier targets when I'm getting matched up against people, because I'm fairly certain I'm gonna be destroyed. Like. Sue. Match it's found. been two weeks since I had a loss within competitive. So I'm waiting for the uh I'm waiting for the penny to drop. Or wait, is that the right inflection? Hmm. The other shooter drop? Sure, let's go with that. Something needs to drop. Hopefully it won't be my RR. <sighs> okay. I am jet. Alright, in this next match we are in icebox. This is the warm-up, so there's nothing really to commentate on. And now the match has started, and they are starting out with the marshal. Of course, everybody decides to peek middle. They're getting no kills and no headshots, to probably no vision either. They're probably just peek shooting, pre-shooting. And right away, his team is cleaning up as Neagle9 gets his first kill. Let's see if he can get the second one. He unfortunately does not get the second one, even though he had him lined up pretty quickly. But luckily, he's able to move on to the next weapon. Unfortunately, they were still on the snipers, and he could not clean up the kill on the Phoenix. It seems like he's in the enemy base and is able to actually get a kill. But unfortunately, the other enemy teammates turned on him and... Got the kill. Like Eagle 9 is lagging a little bit, but that is completely understandable. As his Phoenix gets the first kill on Jet, but gets taken down by Astra. Let's see if they can get a nice trade. And sure enough, Eagle 9 is able to get a trade. And able to switch weapons to the Ares. Now let's see if Neagle9 and his team can work together to actually clean up. And sure enough, Neagle9 is able to get two kills right off the bat 
as he switches weapons. All right, now let's see. Unfortunately, he does not check his corner, and that's how he gets taken down by the Astra. Let's see what happens now. As he's on a signature weapon. Is he going to check his corners this time? He saw the person run to the left. And he does, but unfortunately there was two other people there. And he could not get the kill. They have him completely surrounded there, unfortunately. He did not have a chance to get close enough to actually use his signature weapon. All right, it seems like they have their side. It seems to be one in tube at least. And he's able to take down the one in tube. It's the killjoy. See if he can get a second kill if there's another person there. Sure enough, there is. He's going to clean up on the Astra. The unsuspecting Astra. Let's see if he's able to actually get the brimstone that he saw earlier. But unfortunately, he does not. And neither does his teammate. Let's see. All right. It seems like he's found his next victim. Unfortunately, his the enemy team did clean up on him as well. All right. They're going into A now, knowing that there's somebody, at least one person there. Let's see if, and sure enough, he completely misses because that's not a close range weapon. It's a long range weapon. And uh, the Astro just walked by him and cleaned him up. Unfortunately, he could not level up with it with his team since he is stuck on the boom bot. The boom bot gets taken out by the cypher. And he's able to get a kill with the boom bot. Let's see if he's able to get a second. He's able to get a second and a third with the Spectre. And now he's able to switch to the Bucky. Which unfortunately is not good at long range anymore after the nerf. Let's see if he's able to get a kill for his team. Boost him ahead. And he is was in an intense 1v1. But unfortunately his teammate... Got the kill with him. Well, that's not exactly unfortunate. It is pretty fine. And he's able to actually clean up the kill on the Astra. Finally getting himself on the board with the Bucky. See if he's able to help out his teammates here. But his teammates actually have been doing fine. They're doing A-OK. -okay. As he gets one kill on the Killjoy, he gets a second on the brimstone with the sheriff. Now that he knows where the enemy team is at, let's see if he can actually get a third kill on this cipher with the sheriff. Let's see if he's actually able to get another one for his team so they can catch up and progress. Nobody there. Nobody there after checking. And he sees the next one, but unfortunately that was his teammate, so he got scared and got caught off guard. Unfortunately, well actually no, not unfortunately, he's actually able to get a kill. But the other actual unfortunate part is the fact that he could not clean up on the enemy teammate that did kill him in response. Now he's able to switch to the ghost, and he sees the Astra, but doesn't kill her right away. Unfortunately, he did not get to do what he wanted to do, which was try and sneak up on her and get the kill. But that is A-OK -okay because the team is catching up. And now he has one kill, but unfortunately it was a trade nonetheless. And he's able to switch to the Frenzy. His team is a little bit behind, but that is A-OK -okay in this game. As he's able to actually not get the kill on the Brimstone, unfortunately. But he gets it there, and he's on the Classic now. He's able to get the... Unfortunately, he was not able to get the kill on the Killjoy. Almost killing her in the process. He unfortunately dies to the Astra and the rest of the enemy team. 
And now the enemy team is on match point, and Needle 9 gets knifed and taken down by the Brimstone. Let's see what happens here. As he's finally able to take down someone on the enemy team with the classic. But unfortunately his team is a little bit behind. So now actually they actually now have the knife so they can see if they can get a kill. Neagle 9 gets one. Neagle 9 gets. Oh he's trying to get another. As he's now facing three people on the enemy team. Unfortunately he gets taken down by the killjoy. And that is game for his team. Luckily, it is just escalation, so it is completely okay. Now, a word from Neagle Nine. I mean, to murder you so hard with that. I don't know why it did, but uh, yeah. Well, I can honestly say I'm nice and warmed up now. <laughs> So, how about do? 1914? Eh, it's still pretty good. It's still positive. It's, it's good. Alright. Now I must begin the whole shebang of the ritual I have. And light the candle, you know, the usual. Eat the piece of ginger I have sitting on my table just waiting for me. And hopefully, uh, <laughs> I won't actually lose this one. But who knows? Maybe I'll actually uh, be teamed up with competent teammates who don't constantly meme about stuff like last game that was oof anyways let's get uh, matched up here see what we get hmm Oh, yeah. Okay. So, now it's trying to calculate my new MMR here, I think. Whatever that may be. Whether I'm higher or lower, hard to say, but, uh... It's definitely making some changes here. The calculation and all that. See, that's what I really think that uh, the match timers are so long. Because, uh, it's trying to recalculate your MMR and everyone else's and whoever you're paired up with as part of like a team or stuff. That's what I think is really going on when these match timers uh, take so long. Um, I think that's the reason why uh, Tens took like, what, two hours to get matched up because his MMR is so astronomically high that no one can really compare to him. Or at least I think that was the story I heard about him. So yeah. Um, I don't know what this means, <laughs> considering I'm just a bronze Match too. Match okay, found. Go. Let's uh, see what happens here. Haven. I do believe that Sky is actually weaker on Haven because of all of the uh, ledges that all get right. in the way of my uh, wolf. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it just seems like there, there's a lot more problems for my wolf to go through then is uh well feasible for me to like try to circumvent so yeah i think i i do believe that sky is weaker on haven every other map doesn't really have as much as those like uh like ledges that uh, are like such an obstruction to me like i have to jump over them and that eats up time and also makes a lot of noise because you can actually hear everything oh no All right, so we get in here, and the map is Haven, just like Neagle Nine said. Neagle Nine is on his signature agent Sky. His team is full of Jets, Omen, Phoenix, and Poss uh, and a Sage, as the person finally makes their decision. Neagle Nine pretty much said what I would have said before the match started so it's completely a okay let's see what happens as the enemy team is omen jet killjoy reyna and sova let's see what happens now 
makes you hard to track. All right, right off the bat in the first pistol round, Nigel Nine gets utility as usual, along with a 25 shield. Nigel Nine decides to go to the right side see at garage. Um, as Omen goes C, Jets goes B. Sage helps out at B, and Phoenix goes A by himself. Usually, duelists are the ones to go by themselves, which is completely fine. And Sage usually walls off middle. Seven seconds before the round starts, Nigel Nine is going to initiate with his wolf. Let's see what happens here. As the round begins. It seems like they are showing A. So Nigel Nine does not need to initiate right away. Nigel Nine actually gets the first blood for the game. And ends up offing the Reyna. Which is excellent. Now he's going to see if he wants to go in with the wolf. But he does not. And decides to keep that a secret for his for the enemy team. He decides to actually flank. While Phoenix goes long. Neagle 9 goes short with his wolf. Tries to get some information. Unfortunately he does not see anybody. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. It seems like he is now the only one left against the enemy team Silva. Who we have no information on. But actually he has some information on him now. Unfortunately he pulls out the flash and waits a little too long to use it. And he gets taken down by the Silva. Now he gets a little bit more utility. He buys his light shields again. And once again goes in with his little classic there. Let's see what happens here. As he decides to go B this time along with the two others. It seems like they just, the enemy team decided to go C as Neagle 9 and his team decide to rotate very quickly with the limited with the limited information that they actually have. One seems to be in C spawn. Uh, Jet ends up cleaning up one of them. Neagle 9 now understands that there is at least one or two C long and probably one in garage. But now it seems like the whole enemy team is down C long. All right, all right. And unfortunately, the rest of the team wasn't exactly paying attention. As the jet actually gets one pick right off the bat. The jet is actually kind of cracked. And definitely not someone super easy to kill. Unfortunately... The jet gets taken down by the Killjoy. Yeah, Alright, now they'll be able to full buy, which is a great really thing. Other, not well, not full buy, but they'll be able to light buy at least a little bit. Buying heavy shields along with the Spectre, since Neagle 9 still has his utility that he has not used yet. Because he didn't get the chance to. Now let's see what the enemy team decides to go this time, since they decided to try A side and then go to C side. Let's see if they decide to go B, maybe Garage, maybe C again. Let's see what they decide to do. Nigel 9 is going to start off with his Wolf and Initiate. See if he can get some information. Without doing so, he gets his own information because Silva decides to go in and do his thing. But unfortunately, he was too eager to initiate and gets taken down by the Silva due to the Rana blinding. When I use my abilities, because they're uh, catching me with my pants uh, down. What Eagle Nine has said, since you guys probably didn't hear it, okay. is the fact that he needs to make sure he knows when to use his abilities. Yeah. Because if you know that, you pretty much have control of the game. Spike down B. Knowing exactly when to use your utility is just as good 
as having the utility itself. Now let's see what happens with this sage here. As we don't even know if they planted yet. And sure enough, Sage clutches it and is able to get the win the winning for his team, for their team, right away. Incredible. And managed to clutch it. Super good for his team. Spectre is a solid choice right now. Although, the proper way would be to full buy with your team. But that is completely A-OK. -okay in this current situation if he's able to at least get one pick he should be able to buy with his team this time he at least saw and got information that the reina and the sova are there that was excellent on his part and he's able to get one kill on the killjoy let's see if he's able to get another one Knowing exactly where the Reyna is. Let's see as we wait patiently. One enemy remaining. But where is the Reyna? And the Reyna ended up being in the corner. And the Omen was able to clean up the kill and get their team the win. Now that Neagle 9 is on the board, he's actually able to full buy if he wants to. But if he decides to wait one more round, he's actually able to get a rifle. Which will be perfect for this current situation. As long as Neagle 9 plays his role, he should be A-OK. -okay. The, the, the home team does not need healing currently. So he's fine in that regard. But initiating with the wolf does not seem to be the play this time around since they like to initiate their own way and sure enough there are at least two in garage or at least coming into garage or b sure enough jet is in the corner of b eagle knight seems to have blinded one of them blinded another one with his hawk Let's see what happens see if they can actually push through garage using the bait that eagle nine put out No, it seems like they're split actually. And one of them might be coming through garage. Nowhere to run. Ain't there. He knows that the Reyna is there, but unfortunately he could not kill the Reyna because the Sova was also watching. Unfortunately, Sage could not get the res because Jet was coming out the woodwork and Omen gets taken down as well. Pretty rough round for the home team. That is that is certain. But it should be fine this round. They're actually all able to get rifles if they so wanted to. They really like to rush together as a group. And it very much seems like this team has some cohesion. But they really need to get it together un unless they want to lose this half. Let's see what happens as Jet rushes in and cleans up a kill on the Reyna. Now they know exactly where the spike is. The advice would be not to exactly push out since Eagle 9 uses his Seekers. He's actually able to get information and see where the enemy team is. Eagle 9 now knows and understands exactly where the enemy team is. As Omen decides to go to the right to see if he can get a kill and pick off somebody. But unfortunately he does not. He gets taken down by the Sova. Now Omen and Sova are right there. Killjoy is right there. Neagle9 gets two kills right off the bat. Let's see if he can get that last third kill for his team. Unless Sage or Phoenix actually clean it up. Let's see what happens. Neagle9 just needs to sit there and hold that angle. 
knowing that he has the spike right under his feet. Let's see what happens as Sage uses his res on Jet. Where is the Omen? Is the Omen saving? More than likely. If the Omen was smart, he would be saving. But unfortunately, he takes down the Sage and gets killed by the home team Jet. And now it's tied. Absolutely incredible round. That was really solid and really good. As long as this team continues to be aggressive and decides to push them out and try to get picks before they do, this team can definitely have the advantage over the enemy team. I'm going to use my birds instead of my wolf here. That is the smarter play, using the bird first instead of the wolf. Because the wolf, although it can get some information, it is a little blind, but... With the hawk, it gets all the information. Because if you blind somebody, you'll know right away. It seems the jets dashed in to see. And Eagle 90 ends up cleaning up the kill, knowing exactly where the jet was. Let's see if he can get the kill on the omen or the sova. It seems sova is in the back at their spawn. Trying to pick off anybody that decides to push them like last time. But they decide to hold their ground. And see what happens next. The waiting game sometimes can mess with people. Sometimes it can get into your own head. Sometimes it can get into the enemy's head. In this case, it is very much getting in the enemy's head. They're for sure at A. Now that they have that information... And the Jet gets the kill on the Sova. Let's see if they can get the 4K on the Omen. And sure enough, Jet ends up getting the kill on the Omen. Netting them another kill, uh, another win. And getting them ahead. That was excellence on Neagle 9's behalf. Not only is he keeping up with his team, but he's also able to, to support the top fraggers any way he can. Even if that's just information gathering, healing, or just buying them what they need. Alright, once again, he, Neagle9 is in garage from the window. Going to initiate with his bird. He has no information on the with the bird, but it seems like the enemy team is at sea. Omen gets taken down by the jet. Because the Jet has her knives. Jet gets taken down after killing Reyna by the other Jet. And Neagle 9 kills the Jet. Let's see if he's able to get any information with his wolf. The wolf gets taken down so he gets all the information he needs. He, know that he knows there's at least two people on C. And unfortunately he gets taken down by the Omen. And the round goes to the enemy team. It is very neck and neck right now. Let's see what happens in this next round of this very intense game, this very back and forth game. Because right now it's anybody's game, it's anyone's it's anyone goes. Anything goes. And Eagle Nine may try to switch it up here, knowing that they know he's in garage. Oh, it's weak over there, but But yet he manages to still try and go for garage and turns out the enemy team was going C unfortunately Neagle 9 gets swung on by the jet and gets taken out seems the enemy team is pushing and the Sova cleans up on the sage it doesn't get anybody else as all that's left is Sova and Reyna the Sova gets taken down by the jet and all that's left is the Reyna and Omen takes her down netting them the win and now they are once again ahead. I can't see names, so I don't know. <laughs> Seems like the omen's name is Steve. Be leery of that jet. They really like to run up with a shotgun. All right, let's see what happens here in this next round. As Neagle Nine decides to take point at C. I'm gonna go into all 
in position. All right, it seems like he decides to take the close angle, watching a little bit of Garage as well. As the Omen decides to take Garage and get the kill on the jet, getting the first blood of the round. So they're most likely going C, and sure enough, Niggle9 gets a kill on the Killjoy. He gets a kill on the Sova. See if he can get a sec uh, see if he can get a third kill. Seems like he does not because we don't know where the Reyna is. The Reyna seems to be a little bit lacking behind for the enemy team. We know exactly where the Reyna is now. The the Reyna is down in B. But the best play would be to hold the spike. We don't know why the team is trying to collapse on them, but we very much see the mistake that is being made. So in order for the Reyna to do well, the Reyna would have to break down the ice wall. Or go around because the wall wasn't fully secure. Let's see what happens as Reyna uses her ult. Alright, we know where the Reyna is now. The Reyna turned invisible due to her ability. And Neagle9 is able to win the round for his team, netting him a three-piece rather easily with the Phantom. Good job on Neagle9 for cleaning up that kill and getting that wonderful trade after the Sage was taken down. Alright, this absolutely seems like the play as Neagle9 decides to go back to C once again. But he should not go back to his angle since they're going to assume he's holding that angle once again. Let's see what happens as Neagle 9 is alone. And Jet gets the first kill initiating with her knife. Sage gets the second kill on the enemy team. And now they know exactly where the spike is and the team gets a flawless that means that none of them died, not once, not ever. And now they are up by three against the enemy team. With the Jet and the Omen more than likely top fragging. Incredible. Simply incredible. Now this is the last time before the swap. And they don't really need to reinforce anything or buy anything because you know, none of them got hurt. None of them really died. Omen is going to help out with C this time. Along with probably watching a little bit of Garage. Let's see what happens as Neagle 9 gets no information other than the fact that at least one person is going to be pushing through Garage. And sure enough, it is the Reyna as Jet gets taken down by the Killjoy. Unfortunately, Neagle 9 did not turn around. And although they got, t they got killed... Sage and the rest of the team were able to clean it up and net them the win. Now it is 8-4 to four as the next half comes into play. That was actually incredibly good for their team with the Jet initiating and doing a lot of what she does best along with the Omen. Just being a really good shot. And the Sage coming in clutched with some of the kills. And also good on Neagle9 for doing his job as the initiator, blinding and using the wolf when he was supposed to, learning exactly when to use his abilities, which is good. Alright, now as the round starts, this first pistol round of the second half, as we know exactly where the enemy team is, it seems like they are looking towards B. Alright, we're trying to get a few shots as the shock dart goes out and hits nobody. But the Phoenix gets the first kill on Killjoy. Neagle 9 gets the second and the third kill for the team. But he gets a double for himself, killing the Reyna and the Killjoy. All that's left is now the jet as, jet, as the home jet kills the Sova. But where is the enemy team jet? Turns out the Omen found out exactly where she was and was able to get the kill, netting them another flawless within the same game. Absolutely incredible. You rarely see that happen in lower elos, but this seems to be not the average low elo team. 
Nico Nine is absolutely yeah. correct, and the fact that he does not need to get anything in this round. All that's good left is to have the second pistol round, save, and do whatever you need to do. It turns out Neil Nine is actually second in the kills. All right, the smokes go out. Omen, the enemy team Omen gets a kill on their jet, their top fragger. Sova lets out a shock dart, hurting hurting Neagle Nine in the process. Let's see what kind of information Neagle Nine is able to get. Unfortunately, he does not get any information except the Omen does get a kill, gets two kills as Phoenix gets one with the Judge, and Neagle Nine decides to plant right in default. All right, now Neagle Nine knows and has information. Multiple information, all the information except Neagle Nine does go down. They know exactly where the Rana is. They know exactly where the Killjoy is. Let's see what happens here. It's the last two remaining teammates get the first kill and get the last kill, netting them the win once again. The Omen is absolutely popping off right here in the second half. Screw and we're done is completely right, Phoenix, as they're now able to buy some guns, but not full buy exactly unless you are a madman, and some of you actually are. Alright, let's see. The home team decides to go see. Well, at least two split off and decide to poke through garage. Neagle Nine decides to use his hawk and try to blind through B. Sure enough, he does get some information in that way. As the enemy team is a little bit struggling to push through C, Phoenix is able to see where Reyna is, but may get killed in the process. Let's see what happens here. As this round goes out, Nigel 9 picks up a Spectre. And he peeks through CT. Gets no information currently. But unfortunately, he looks away, and the gun had to be reloaded. And unfortunately, he gets killed, but their Phoenix cleans up the Reyna. Alright. Now everybody's able to full buy if they so choose. Neagle 9 gets the Vandal this time around, along with a full build, and he has his ultimate, so that means he can actually initiate for his team to get a lot of information here. It is now 11-4, to 4, not even letting the enemy team get any advantage on them whatsoever, as they are great at planting and retaking all at the same time. This just shows how skilled the whole team is. Even though some are not top fragging and not with high kills, they are participating greatly. And making sure their team wins in any way, shape, or, shape or form. And Eagle Knight initiates with his wolf. Unfortunately, he gets slowed down. And Jet, as we saw, Jet got the kill on the Sova. Unfortunately, the Omen gets taken down by the enemy team, Reyna. Jet takes down the enemy team, Omen. Reyna takes down the opposing, the, the home Jet. It is absolutely kill for kill right now. As the Phoenix takes down the Reyna. And we know where Killjoy is. Killjoy is more than likely in heaven. Never mind. Killjoy was coming up and gets taken down by the Sage. Now it is match point for the home team as Neagle 9 and his team are cleaning up the competition. Neagle 9 picks up the bomb. And they're going to try to see and do a a push once again possibly or there may be a distraction Nickel nine is probably going to initiate with his bird see if he can get some information as the home team decides to push through window possibly or at least get one pick through window let's see what happens here all right jet uses her ults all right all the utility is going out they're able to get the kill on Omen. Alright, they have the information. They know exactly where the enemy team is. See if Neagle 9 can do anything about it. 
He uses his flash. It's a blind, but unfortunately he does not look behind him and gets killed and taken down. But of course, this match is completely wild, so they're, so they're kill for kill right now. All that's left is Omen and Reyna. They had to reload both of them. It is very intense right now. Reyna uses her blind. Omen is freaking out a little bit, walking back and forth, knowing exactly what needs to be done. And Omen gets the final kill and gets them the win. Excellent match for Neagle9 and his team with the Omen getting the final kill in the game. Probably the most wild game I've ever commentated in my life. And Jet with 29 and 11. Holy crap. Fascinating kill. 26. That means Neagle 9 is bound for bronze 3 or higher according to the game. Let's tune in and see what he has to say. The person carrying was the Jet because they were just getting all the kills. But, uh... Hello yeah. there, partner. Hi! That was wild. <laughs> no kidding. Holy cannoli! That was the most hype match I've ever commentated. <laughs> that was insane! I mean, yeah, Y'all had two was... silvers. We did. Uh, one on our side, one on the other side. That was insane. And interestingly enough, the silver wasn't Top Fragger. That was insane. So, yeah, um... I just want to say that, first, before we go over the rest of the match, that final round was so intense. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, they had to reload, so they both got back into cover. I was just like, oh my god, what is happening right now? I, I, I really thought he was going to be pulling out his uh, classic during that. I was like, I was about to just yell at him, classic, or pistol, or whatever, but I was just like, nope, just, just that, tell him that he has his abilities ready. That was really good. That was really good because after Omen blinded, the Reyna came back around, with, but Omen was watching it and Peeker's advantage, boom, bop, bop. That was it. Yeah, but I got hard sneak up on uh, in that one. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, uh, yeah, you did. That was disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you did not check behind you. That, that jet, though, that one was a real good shotgun user. Yeah. No kidding. If you don't want to use sniper rifles with jet, use shotguns. Oh They're yeah. Pretty much as effective. Oh, yeah, she can get close and personal tactics. easily. Oh yeah, easy, easy. You just be super aggressive. Oh yeah. I mean, it didn't get the most amount of kills, but still, it was a pretty good like shock trooper jet they had. Whew. True. Very true. All right. So, uh, <laughs> where you want to start with uh, round one? Yeah, okay. So, round one was actually really cool. Um, seeing you get first blood, I was like, yeah. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you didn't think he was going to get first blood, did you? <laughs> no, I was just like, okay, I'm going to get... Hey, they damaged him enough. Bink! Yup, that's all you needed. You got the one bang and that was it. Yeah, because the uh, teammates had weakened him enough. Yeah. Holy uh, crap. Yeah. So then we just kind of collapsed on them from there, but then they picked us up one by one. <laughs> Very true. Yep. Yeah, th that, that first round was unfortunate. So was the second round, but after that... No, what really, what really got me was uh, the fact that I tried to throw a blind over it, and since I was in the middle of casting, he just snuck around like, oh, I'm just going to shoot. Yeah. I, my, my main weakness with Sky is the fact that I need to be better with my canceling of abilities. Is that something yeah. you can do? I mean, and I need to practice that more. In order to cancel the ability quicker, you just switch to weapons. Yeah, you exactly. To weapon. And I don't do that enough. I don't switch weapons enough. I stick with whatever I'm trying to do at the time. Yeah. Um. And yeah. So I need to. I tried it out a couple of different times, uh, with semi-successful rates. But yeah, like. The, the blind, like, okay, go. oh, I don't have a gun out. Yeah, that, that, that was the fault in, like, a couple of rounds where, like, yeah. you were mid-casting or you were trying to cast, and then you got taken out instantly. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Indeed. so the, one advice I have for you for that is, um, like, just before the round starts, pull out your ability and then just swap weapon and just spam that real quick. Mm. That, that, that's what a lot of people do, like, before the round starts. 
pull yeah, out the I'm ultimate not, like, and then super you switch. Twitchy like that either, so it's just like ah. Yeah. Anyway, so round two though. Round two, that was interesting. Um, unfortunately, you didn't get a kill there, but no. that jet was popping off. Yeah, well, jet was silver. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I honestly thought that the jet was gonna win it for you guys for that round because that those uh those sheriff kills, ooh, that man yeah, right there. Someone uh having some pretty good aim. Yeah. Aim and patience, that's for sure. Mm. But unfortunately, he got ganged up on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, it was actually what really got the uh, jet was the fact that uh, they had the superior position. Yeah. It's all about positioning in this game, too. Mm. Not just good gun skill. It's all yep. about game sense. <laughs> yeah. But then, after round three, we started getting it in into their heads more. Oh, Yeah. The rest of the team did. I immediately got taken out. <laughs> yeah, I I think you were like mid cast. I was. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, throwing out a blind, and I got them, but because they weren't looking at it, because they were moving to kill me, uh, it only lasted like a split second, so right. it didn't do anything for me. Uh, also, uh, even though for the first three rounds, it was almost as if like you didn't know when to use your abilities. After that, literally after that. You learned how to, you you learned exactly when to use your abilities. You yep. know you learned uh, when I, I not to. to. Wake up. <laughs> it was it was insane. Yeah, uh, I needed to wake up. I agree. Okay, whatever you're doing is wrong. Right, do whatever you're else. doing, stop that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't do that no more. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like it, the team just clutched up for that third round. Mm -hmm. Sage actually, uh, despite them not knowing how to sage, uh, oddly they enough, they did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, they did. Uh, during the pre-round, it was just like, uh, what do I pick? And like all, it was like flitting between like duelists. I'm like, why don't you go Sage? Uh, two healers is always a good idea. Uh huh. And it's like, sure, never played them before, but sure. Yeah, I, I, I mean, all you really need to know about Sage is when to heal, when to res, and when to wall. Yeah, the walls can be really tricky though because uh, there was a couple instances where I used their mistake to try to get some intel. Exactly. Because there was a gap big enough. Exactly. To yeah. To get I actually commented on that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, but yeah, they were pretty good mechanically. So. I agree. Uh, I certainly agree. And then, uh, I managed to get a blind out. Uh, I instead of using my wolf, I uh used my bird. Yeah, that so that was an excellent switch up. People. That yeah, was an excellent switch up. Bird tells me if I managed to blind someone or not. Yep, I commented on that me. too. Yeah, it tells me if there's someone there. Yep, and that's exactly what I said. I because all I said was um that the re and it, it was good that you switched up because not only does the wolf get you information, it doesn't give you enough information because it's also blind. But mm -hmm. the the hawk gives you the most information because the hawk can tell you if there's somebody there by blinding somebody. Yep. Plus, it has a longer reach. It can go over things. Exactly. Like buildings. Yeah. So uh, uh, I I think you should definitely continue to initiate with your with your um hawk yeah at least on Haven. Wolf Haven is only for if I think I already know where they are. Right. So you can uh, concuss yeah, them um, and swing on them. Yeah. Uh, for the concussion, it, I I learned this from a rival uh sky uh battling me. I think it was even on stream, but mm. uh I got concussed. And I was already shooting at them when I got concussed. I went to like two bullets a second. Yeah. It was so slow. I was just like, what is this? And they yep. killed me. Yep. Slows you so, down. So yeah, that's that's the thing. Like direct damage and then concussion is like kind of what you're going for with that. Intel is kind of tertiary almost. Yeah. It's still really good for Intel, but yeah, kind of tertiary. It's more of an attack than an information gatherer. At least because now you're it, learning it's that. A threat. It's a threat to them. Exactly. Because yeah. it actually does damage. Right. At least now you're learning that now. Yeah. One, uh, one, one thing you will learn, though, as you get into higher elos is people can actually shoot down your hawk as well. So keep that in mind. Yes. No, I, I, they've already tried during that match. I heard yeah. them. So, yeah. Well, uh, I can actually use it as a temporary shield. If I throw it out, it hits the hawk. Even if they have, like, high penetration bullets, it doesn't kill me. True. 
Yeah. So, yeah, I've used that a couple of times, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, round five, though, they managed to uh, get up on us because... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. They well, cleaned up. Yeah, it was pretty substantial. The Jet and the Omen tried, but um, unfortunately, they, they were just better at that point. It, for, for, uh, for that round, they were better. Yeah. <laughs> And, and that's when I call it, that's when I started calling it like the back and forth game because like literally like as the matches as the match went on you guys were like kill for kill like you mm-hmm. someone would get I one kill that. they would get another one kill then another and then it was literally back and forth I was just like oh my god <laughs> this is a match right here yeah it now this intense. is competitive forget all that yeah, iron no, no, crap no, no, like, this is competitive ooh, I, even I said that I was like yeah this is this feels what competitive should be exactly exactly that's exactly it like like iron q i don't even know what that is bronze uh, bronze one and higher that's when you get to see it as long as there's no irons in your team but like that that's when you get to see it like maybe bronze to a high bronze one bronze two or higher holy crap that's when the real gameplay starts because holy crap this match was insane Round six is when I actually started getting some kills, like yeah. actual kills. And that's when you so, started yeah, popping uh, off. Yeah, I was just like, okay, th- I just like mentally slapped myself. I'm like, okay, let's do this. Yep. Uh, so yeah, uh, Phoenix actually got a kill with his hot hands, which I didn't even know. Yep, that was funny. <laughs> and he just like threw it and like dead, and I'm just like, what? See, and, and and like the funny part is like kills were happening so quickly, I couldn't yeah, even I mean, call them out fast enough. I was just like, dang. No, seriously, look at that time. Like, nine seconds in, our jet gets a kill. Yeah, because I mean, like... seconds in, we but see, burn someone to death. See, the thing is, think about it, though, because, like, the jet, being who she is and what she's supposed to do, she went in because the, the, the enemy team were waiting. Because, like, they, they were going slow and probably gonna were going to push through garage again since they knew you were there the whole time, or at least for a majority of the round or the match. Yeah. And That's why I try to change up my stuff. Exactly, which is good, and I'll comment on that uh, in a second. But yeah, um, <laughs> the when Jet pushed out, they were not suspe- expecting that. And that's how Randy got clapped easily. I was like, dang. Y'all, y'all really were in their heads, though. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember, but I think that round also was when I used the bird instead of the... Uh, yeah, this is when you started using the bird. Yeah, as your initiator. I threw it in there and then left. Yep, that's exactly what you did. You, you didn't even like try to angle it. You you tossed it oh. in and moved to the side. Switched to my gun and then left. Yep, and then it, you popped it. Yep, and then you popped it and that was it. Because all you really needed with that it was that information. Because like you noticed that like afterwards when they stopped pushing garage, um, what, that also gave you a lot of information knowing that if you didn't hear any like sound cues from it, it's like okay they're not they're not pushing garage. They're not yep. pushing B either. Yep. Like literally, the bird gives you so much information. It's actually insane. Yeah, it does. <laughs> because like with the wolf, it leaves you very vulnerable as well. Because yeah, uh, aside from its initial like you know chirp uh-huh. when I cast it, when it flies, it's completely silent. Unlike Sova's bot. Sova's bot is the drone. The drone thing. Yeah. You can hear the motors whirring for the True. wings. You can't hear the bird. So unless you see it, then you won't be able to find it. Right. Also, green is a, typically a color that's harder to for the eye to track when it's like a moving thing. Right. Because we, I think it's because we mentally filter out uh, gr- moving green things because that means it's a plant, and it's flowing and it's moving in the breeze. So mm. we don't notice that as much. And that's my theory, at least. I have nothing to back it up, except from a lot of experience dealing with plants. <laughs> I mean, it makes uh, sense but to me. yeah. Anyways, uh, so... Omen takes out our jet uh, when she was trying to, like, you know, go around and uh-huh. try to get stuff. Uh, Sova then takes out our Omen, who moved around to try to cover where we got the spike. Yep. Uh, because we, like, got it immediately. That, th- that first kill was the spike carrier so we just we were just puppy guarding that exactly and i just waited have to do. inside the opponent's omens smokes for yeah that. that was a smart play 
Yeah. Uh, and I just waited around, got them both. Yep. And then just waited. I mean, all the rest of them were doing crazy stuff. Honestly, that's all you had to do. Like, yep. cause it, if anything, the sage shouldn't have pushed out, mm. but, um, it all worked out because like you guys, they were able to trade that. We're like, Omen killed the sage, but the jet being there was able to kill the omen. Yeah, it worked out. Well, actually, no, it was this, uh, the jet again because the uh, jet had requested being rezzed by the sage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and he's like, trust me, I got this. Yeah, the the, the jet jet was OP. Mm hmm. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's yeah. what I said. They, they heard it. So they, then they sure round did. seven, uh, they managed to plant. However, we managed Jet, to get a lot more Once intel. again. <laughs> yeah, because... So, okay. Uh, opponent Jet immediately took out the Omen. So I'm like, okay, they're pushing through a garage. Uh, so yep. then we're like, okay. Jet immediately starts collapsing on that after I throw out the thing. I'm like super worried about the Jet with the uh, Judge that's wondering about because that's a threat. True. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we managed to like lock it down. I managed to help out uh, the jet a little bit, our jet. And then I waited for uh, the opposing jet who had a shotgun. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to be at range. I'm just going to be barely outside the range for a shotgun's max damage. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to outrange them. And if not, my buddy who's uh, next to me is going to avenge me. And sure enough. And I get the kill. Yep. Right away. Unsuspecting as well. It was so good. Yeah. <sighs> uh, then they managed to grab Spike uh, and then move all the way over to A. We were already on in hot pursuit, though. Yeah. So we managed to get that. I already had figured out where they are. Uh, Jet already took care of one. I was just like, okay, it's up. So I'm just like, okay, stick to the fuse, got it. <laughs> yep, exactly. But then came when they went for C. Yeah, the moment they switched so, up yeah. on you, you guys got. So uh, what was your kill during up. during that? Because that was brutal to say it, the least. It, it was extremely brutal. So thirty seconds is all it took. Yeah, that, that's all they needed. So like a, after Jet used her ultimate and like initiated, I was like, oh boy, because. Jets, when they initiate, they either will get killed right away or they'll pop off. Mm. And sure enough, kills your omen, which was one of your best at the time. Without, because I think this is before you showed the stream, um, like uh, what the score was. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I assumed that omen was one of the top fraggers, probably above you. And I was like, oh, there goes omen. And then Jet cleans up the Reyna. But their jet cleans up your jet. I was like, oh, this round is over. But yep, you, it, you ended up killing... Exactly. Range, 10 meters. But uh, you, you ended up killing the um, the opposing jet. So I was like, okay, maybe you have no, They this. were in the air. I'm like, okay, I heard them fly up. That I'm was funny. I'm just going to start shooting up. That was incredibly funny. I have a phantom and there were so many like smokes around. I'm like, okay, I have a silenced weapon. Meaning they can't tell where I'm shooting from. So I'm yep. just going to start spraying all around. It and then I see them above. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. It, it worked out perfectly. You killed him. And then you you decided to push up a little bit, but unfortunately... No, I actually uh, went back. Uh, oh, you did, I, huh? I That's right. Up. Yeah, because when they planted, I'm like, okay, I need to wait for my other two teammates because I'm not taking this on alone. Yep. Which so, yeah. you did. Um, uh, yeah. But the Sova ended up cleaning up on the Sage. And then the Phoenix. And then the Omen just clean up on the rest of us because the, uh, yeah. he did the round through the garage. It, it was right, one right after the other. It was sad. Yep. But that was the last time they got a round on us. That was literally the last time. <laughs> because after that, you guys got ahead, and you guys were Needed up by die. four. <laughs> that it, it, jet with the uh, shotgun, man. Yeah, that, that, that jet with the shotgun was OP. Uh. But it sure didn't last long, though. Because mm. after that, shoot. It was Omen, it was Jet popping off. Like, literally in the same second, by the way. Uh-huh. And then Sova got a kill, and then Jet got another, and then Jet got another, and then Omen cleaned it. 
All it took was 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Again, these rounds were over in 30 seconds. It was insane. A lot of the time. It was extremely quick, to say the least. This was a 25-minute game. Like... Yep. Yep. <laughs> insane. And then your best round. Holy crap, your best yeah. round. So... So, it, from the top. This I was funny. Into, okay, so I don't know if you heard me or not, but at the beginning of this, I'm like, mm, Longer range. You know what? I'm going to go into what is referred to as an all-in position. Yeah. So, I went into the corner over there. And just yep. waited because I thought they were going to be coming through that area. I guessed right. Uh, and I was just like, okay, the teammates are going to do whatever. I'm going to sit here. Uh, and kind of panicked. So I went full auto on the uh, Killjoy, hitting yeah. barely any of my shots, but still managed to kill them. And that's why it was so funny. Like, yeah. It's like you ended up killing them, but like they didn't capitalize on it. Uh, well, they didn't know exactly where I was. I mean, they true. could. They couldn't see the bullets, even though the Sova was right there. He had no idea where I was. He had no idea how his teammate had died. He heard the shots being fired. He didn't know where they came from. True. That's why I like Phantom so much. Any silenced weapon is my favorite automatically because it doesn't give the enemy intel. It Very is true. denying them information about where you are. Mm -hmm. Anything outside of 40 meters as well. You just poof, gone. Don't know where you are. Oh, yeah. So yeah, managed to kill that. Uh, Sova is being like super cautious because he's no idea where I am. So yep. uh, two seconds later, he pushes up and bah, get him. Sure enough, yeah. And then after, and then literally two more seconds later, uh, the Phoenix gets the kill on the Omen, and then Rainer just starts cleaning up all of a sudden. It's just like oh, okay, yep. so <laughs> you were hiding all this time, and then sure enough, you start cleaning up the team. But then yeah, you uh, waited. It was a save round for them. They had uh, inferior weapons. Right. So uh, they got a kill with a shotgun, which is a really good idea with Arena because uh -huh. you can heal or dismiss depending. It, it Reyna's more close quarters duelist. Right. At least that's my opinion. Uh, um, hmm. I mean, they can like be up in your face and get out of situations a lot easier, in my opinion. Uh, they, they, they're more like mid-range, in my opinion. Eh. Regardless, they were able to get some nice shot. This is kills, true. Get a better weapon in a phantom uh -huh. um, probably phoenix right and then just start going to town from there working in reverse yep but uh they weren't expecting me nope <laughs> they sure weren't because they dismissed and then got out of it i'm just like tracking them the entire time just waiting uh -huh. and then brah! exactly Be because it, it was good and i called that out too it was good because like sage was the perfect bait i think she knew it as well because Maybe. I all she, it, I mean, like, it, regardless of if she knew or not, of course, this is from a commentator's I used eye. Him as bait. <laughs> exactly, but yeah, exactly. You used him as bait. I knew exactly what you were doing too, mm. because you held that angle. You were like, okay, they either come out of your right, and the sage kills them, or they come out of garage, they kill the sage, and you kill them. Yeah, what? I noticed that they had a marshal on them, the sage. I'm yeah. Just like, hmm. Probably not going to get a kill with that thing, but you never know. Exactly. Uh, so let's just try for the refrag. And so sure they enough. Were, they were staring at, uh, well, towards our spawn. And yeah. I was staring at pretty much everything else. Right. So we had our like, bases covered there. True. It was uh, good. And yeah, uh, I just got the refrag. Yeah. After they turned, after the Rana turned invisible, I was getting a little worried thinking that like they were going to go fully around you. Or like get up close, but um, luckily, they looked around the normal spot and didn't, they didn't think outside the box, and that's how you caught them off guard, and that was it. Yeah, that, that was the refrag. Right there, this corner right here is like super hard to get around because True. that's like what two, maybe three, depending on where you're coming from, extra angles you have to worry about. Yup. So yeah. That's a really good spot to like get yeah, a plus it's at an unconventional angle, uh, so you can actually see over the boxes. Then round 11 came, oh, and yeah. the stage in the jet just went to town. It's true, it's just, you the, know, the jet said, I'm tired and I want to get this over. It was with. over in 13 seconds, literally. The jet went <laughs> bop, bop, bop. Yeah, well, the stage did too. Yeah, true. The, 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 the sage right got. 
just literally two seconds later, another kill, and then <laughs> literally went after the other bop, bop, and that was it. That's all you needed. Yeah, so I had my ult at that point. I was just like, okay, uh, they, they got this. They don't need my ult. I'm going to save it. Exactly. Like <laughs> After Jet got the kill and then Sage got the next two, you were like, nah, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and sure enough, insane. And the final round. Of the wow, again. Yeah, th that one was really interesting. So Jet gets the kill. And then, like, nothing happens for, like, at least three seconds. And then Sage gets one. And then Omen gets one literally two seconds later. And then the next second, Jet gets a kill. But unfortunately, in that same second, the enemy team Jet kills you. Because they looped around. Yep. Because you yeah, were trying to reinforce in CT. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Long, or, sorry, uh, C long. Yeah, yeah. because you, you were trying to reinforce garage, but then of mm -hmm. course you didn't look behind you. No. And unfortunately, and then yeah, because they split you, up, which they didn't yeah. do before. Exactly. Plus, I think you were mid cast as well. You were about to cast. Yeah. Yeah. I was helping out. Like, um, you about to I use knew your there bird. Was another enemy out there, so I was just like, okay, yeah. let's do the clap. Exactly. But luckily, the omen came through right after you died, but, and uh, yeah, I wasn't cleaned it up especially worried but yeah that was like okay your teammate that was backing you up just died uh, are you going to be able to like snap to where they died exactly and sure enough and they did three seconds was, was all it took and that was it so uh beginning of the switch when we're on the attacking side uh-huh things got fun <laughs> yeah they did y'all just cleaned up literally in a matter of seconds so the phoenix was a a roamer, honestly. He just yep. one did his own thing, which, which is fine. I kind of expect from his Phoenix. They yeah, Phoenix really and Jets. Stay. They uh, uh, unless Jets opping, uh, like uh, unless any of the duelists are opping, they're they're usually meant to like roam around. But right? he's trying to yeah. get the first picks. Exactly. Which unless the enemy team is really Phoenix oppressive. Did. But then I stayed back to mm -hmm. cover windows. And sure enough, I betted they were going to try to rotate around us. And mm -hmm. I have practiced a lot with the classic lately, so I did uh, my two tap and then the burst, which is enough, even if you do all body, to kill someone at full shields, full health. Yep. Yeah, it does like over 150 points of damage. Pretty nice. So if they're at that mid range, then yep, they're, they're dead. Oh yeah. And I managed easily. to kill the rhino that way too. Yep. It was nice. Super good. good and to see then the other two just in, uh, clean things up. Play. And that is true. That once again with that sheriff and then clean it up with the classic. Easy. Mm -hmm. And kind then next round. Go, uh, a sheriff though. True. But uh, I mean if it's he's confident in it, it's not really risky. Yeah. It's just another gun at that point. Mm. And then this uh, round. That round was crazy. What was that like to see? Because that was... Uh, what? It was... It, it was it was interesting that to say the least after jet died i was a little worried but then again not really after um like some time went by and omen got the kill mm. uh and then after phoenix got his and then omen got a second i was like okay y'all probably have this and then reyna gets the kill on the phoenix then i started getting worried again you planted and then reyna kills Die. you not immediately, like yeah. 10 seconds later. Exactly. But yeah, I, I was trying to loop around to figure out where they went. Yeah, uh, and that's where you got caught I was caught right, out. but I also got attacked from uh, Heaven. That's so true. I was calling that out on comms when Reyna uh, popped out. Yep. So that I was true. busy telling people where the enemy was, and I couldn't defend myself. Mm hmm And then after that's that, That's what got Omen me, honestly. I didn't up. even shoot my gun at all that round. Like, I got zero points from that. Yeah, it, it was it was interesting because um, you after calling it out and you got killed, uh, Omen went up to heaven and killed the Killjoy. Yep. Uh, Sage well, tried to. I think, I think actually uh, no, he was he was still uh, at A. He was on the ground. Yeah, he, he oh that's right, he was still on the he ground. I think Killjoy went think. down. Yeah. And then um, or tried to at least. <laughs> yeah, and then he, Reyna. They got down. Right, and then Reyna got the kill on the Sage. I think Reyna ended up trying to get to Heaven. Once Omen saw that she was in Heaven, he got the kill. 
Yeah, uh, Reyna actually uh, was looping around the box to try to get a drop on him. Where, oh, that's what uh, that was. That's right. That's right. Where he it was that round. Finished it. Yeah, that was good. Round 15. Oh, I didn't do yeah. anything. You didn't need to. I didn't need to. I <laughs> distract them by uh, making my bird pop over uh, a long. Uh, so they would think that I was going to be there. Yeah, the, it, that was think, that round. That's right. I, I don't think that worked, though. So it didn't. That was okay. Eh. I mean, I mean it, it, it's, it's good to try. Right. So, yeah. Oh, that, that, was this, that was the C push with the A fake. That's right. Yep. Yeah, that's what I tried to do, but it didn't work. Yeah. Unfortunately, you got killed, but then Phoenix was able to clean it up. Overall, really good though. Sage was all right with that. Um, with that sheriff though, not gonna lie. I'm mean, not sheriff, mm. the marshal. Yeah, it would, uh, kind of surprised me. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, uh, I, I don't even know why I got killed there. I don't remember what I was thinking. I'm gonna have to rewatch re my stuff to make sure yeah. I get all that because uh, <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's as good as mine right now. Yeah, well, I, th I had a what? I had a ghost, so I couldn't I really think so, do too yeah. much. Yeah, I was just like you know playing it super cautious, uh, because I wasn't doing especially great that after the switch. Right. I was letting my teammates do all the work, honestly, uh, keeping them, them alive. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, looks like they uh, managed to clear that out. Round sixteen, though. Mm hmm. That's when we kind of went nuts. I think. I agree. After that, it was blow for blow, cause like. After Phoenix got the kill, and then Jet got that second, that next kill. Um, Raina got a kill. Jet got another kill. Raina got another kill. Phoenix got the kill, and then you planted, and Sage cleared it. That was clean. That was that was just a good round right there. Yep. <laughs> but the last round. Yeah, the last round. <laughs> My God, let's talk I... about this one for a second. You have to because I don't know what happened. Yeah, so, okay. Once the Omen got the kill on the Phoenix, because I think Phoenix pushed out a bit, uh, and yeah, a bit Jet much. was over yeah. there with him. Um, Jet cleaned up the Omen, and after walking around a bit more, she found the Killjoy. But right mm -hmm. after, but I mean, as hey. the Killjoy died... That's when Sova killed your sage. Mm -hmm. it, it was, was hiding behind that uh, partition. Right. And it was after that that you planted. That I planted, yeah. And then you pulled away from it. And it was then when your jet killed the Sova after finding him. And then mm -hmm. their jet killed you. From behind. Literally right after Omen kills that jet. <laughs> and then Reyna kills your jet. And then... That was the most intense 43 seconds of my freaking life. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then the Omen has to, like, duel with the Reyna for a little bit. Or is, like, trying to reload and stuff. I'm like, you have your ult, and you can, like, you know, do things. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it was interesting, though, because after... Because you can tell they both didn't want to get kills because they were both moving as they were shooting. So it's just like, yep. okay, he was trying to jump away while also, like, reloading. He managed to reload go around and send out the blind as he as she sent out her her blind mm -hmm. and which was good because she didn't get any information after she looked and then she went around to the right and omen peeked out and then he held his angle as she walked back into the line of sight and sure enough that was the game winning kill and that was that that, that was just uh, I was just like, okay, okay, you're done. I, I'm gonna have to rewatch that section of it, like the last two rounds, because yep. that was insane. Yep. No, like uh, there were certain portions where I just didn't know what was going on anymore. Was I, like, huh? I I could barely track it. So so like literally, literally after, like Jet kills Omen, like it, um, your Jet kills their Omen. It was literally blow for blow. Jet killed yep. Killjoy. Sova killed Sage. You planted. Then literally three seconds later, Jet kills Sova. Jet kills you. Omen kills Jet. Rana kills Jet. It's just like, yo, relax. It was literally within Ooh. seconds of each other after that. Yeah, I mean, the, the the log, the event log is just like, 
We had green, 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 red. It was gold, insane. Green, that was the most red, insane match I've green, ever seen. Red, green. <laughs> Y'all were literally neck and neck for like neck and neck for like the first half, like and the first then uh, <laughs> popped off, and then, fam, so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh. Well. Uh, I guess we can play, or I can play one game as Killjoy in Unrated. Sure. Yeah, why not? Uh, I don't know if you want to, like, go away or not, but you feel free to stay. <laughs> you know, I could also just party up with you. I'm in game right now. Oh! You know what? Sure. Let's do a game in Unrated. Yeah, why just not? Just like old times, right? A little commentating fun. Let me hop up in here. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, that was incredibly fun. Um, Indeed. This part will also be part of the uh, the video. Actually, no. Th this part won't be part of the video. Um, so for those watching this video, since it, since it was, this was a, just a commentary, um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I will see you wonderful people in the next video. See ya. Bye,